Greece stole Cristiano Ronaldo's dream of becoming champion and in his home. They were the Cinderella of 2004 and just as Morocco did in Qatar 2022, they snatched a long-awaited trophy. It's over! It is over! Greece are the champions of Europe, the ultimate outsiders at the start of the tournament. The Greeks reached the final after overcoming a group of teams in which Portugal and Spain were and then defeated France and the Czech Republic in the knockout phase. Nobody could believe it, but they were there, ready to go for the cup. The match would get off to a rocky start, but little by little, it became clear that the home side wanted to celebrate with their fans, and they would do the impossible to do so. Heading ability to good effect, and Miguel makes good ground and forces a turn away from Nikopolidis. The referee wasn't sure the goalkeeper had touched that. He had a look to his assistant to uh, get confirmation. However, the Lusitanian siege didn't face the Greeks, who with their own weapons began to get closer to Ricardo Pereira's goal. The final was electrifying. But of course, for every chance created by Greece, the home side created two, and even more dangerous ones. He's had a, a couple of really good... Oh, and uh, headed away, that looked a foul, but uh, Manishas put it wide. There might have been some complaints for Greece there. Anything was injured, but uh, he's quickly back on his feet and he skipped away from Katsouranis and others. The Portuguese team was star studded. Between Figo, Deco, and a young Cristiano Ronaldo, they had absolutely everything to give the country its first international trophy. However, being favorites is a burden and Greece made them feel it. Moments that won the match in the semi final, but they've got a goal here. The heading power of Harris Dias. They've scored from a corner again. He lifted his head and Portugal hang theirs. Great joy for Greece. The first goal. Well, there'll be staggering scenes in every Greek community around the world. The Greek goal was a blow that no one expected, so Cristiano Ronaldo and company went on the attack. Oh, it's a bit wild from Zagarakis. Ronaldo parried away by Nikopolidis. Away from immediate danger, Saitaridis. The match became increasingly tense because the home side didn't want to let their supporters down but the visitors had no intention of handing over the result. I think uh, Ray Hagel's got to get somebody to pick up Rui Costa. Now Figo, the shot's on. And uh, Nikopolidis didn't let it get away from his grasp. Paolo Ferreira, ooh, this one that Tapisa thought he could get in front of Figo. The chances came one after the other, but even the young star's efforts had no effect. Rui Costa looking for Ronaldo. He's found Ronaldo. And there was no flag. And rightly so. It was a very good combination, the sort that uh, Portugal haven't had it. Oh, Ronaldo has found some space where there's been very little. What a good save again by Nicopolidis. And the shots coming in from all players from all angles. That was Ricardo Carvalho. Desperation was already eating them up, and the clock was ticking. Nuno Gomes. Can Figo do it? Of all players. Well, the referee was going to give a goal kick then. Figo asked for a corner, and he's got one, and Greece are caught out by that. And it's over the top from George Andrade's head. However, of course, all hope would be dashed. With the final whistle, Greece had become the new European champions against Portugal and at their own home. It's over! It is over! Greece are the champions of Europe, the ultimate outsiders at the start of the tournament. And even at the start of this final, it's a footballing fairy story. Otto Rehagel, whose stock had suffered in his homeland, 
a remarkable renaissance. The home players here, tears for Ronaldo. But you've got to hand it to Greece. Greece! The image that was left for posterity, apart from the one of the team that beat all the odds, was that of Cristiano Ronaldo crying inconsolably. He had been robbed of his dream of winning his national team's first international title. However, the years would finally give him a second chance. Of course, those tears were the same as the ones that were seen when they were eliminated in the quarterfinals at Qatar 2022. He knows that this will probably be his last World Cup and he will never again be able to make a bid for eternal glory at an international level.